Hi guys. Hi guys. Yep, as you can see guys, just side sold Ryan Yates. Um obviously we didn't need him and he wasn't getting any game time. So it made more sense to sell him on. Um this is just at the end of the transfer window in January. So as you can see some mad signings to be fair, like Barcelona selling Arejo, Manu selling Fernandez. Got some loan agreements and stuff like that to go through. Uh just one of the youngsters going wants to go out on loan. Um, for, the, for these like five minutes there's not much that really happens uh, it's just more of a case of just advancing through it getting through it because we don't really sign anyone now um, obviously we've got everyone we can sign the player that I did want was the right wing from Congress, yeah, him, Mudiaki just because I feel like he would be pretty good for the team he's but then I didn't realise when I did um, squad developments soon that some of the players that we've been developing have actually got some really good stats now so it's just a case of just carrying on developing them. Um, I believe it'll probably be another season but obviously next season I won't be doing the play the play part of it, I'll be more skipping because obviously this, this season is just to keep them in the Premier League. Um, next season is going to be where we focus on being able to skip through the game and do the skip set, skip aspect of the game I might start doing this with different teams though where it's like first season we play through and just do the highlights the attacking only highlights and then second season skip I do the actual full time skip so we play up until um, the end of the first transfer window and skip from the to the next transfer window and then so on and so forth as you can see um, we just loaned out another youngster for a two year loan and I was just check. then we get a loan for our goalkeeper but I don't want to sell him so it's just a loan to buy um, I believe this is where I go into yeah just looking around the squad seeing what we've got I put him a new goalie in instead of Henderson because obviously Henderson leaves at the end of the season. Moved him to his actual position, so he's a centre mid. Um, and I believe this is where we start playing some games. I know it is shortly. No, we skip through the last two minutes, and then then we start actually playing games. Obviously, this is. The last of the pre-recorded stuff, um, and then it'll go to actually live gameplay and stuff like that. It's just for this moment of time, it's a bit easier for me to record um, and then do voiceovers later on, just because I have to pick up my little lad and stuff. Um, seems like everyone's enjoying Cyberpunk so far. Um, next episode will be tomorrow, I believe. Um, and then we'll carry on with that. That's obviously David Martinez. He's yeah, the ga the gameplay that itself is going quite strong. Um, yeah, this is just loads of stuff saying like approach made for him and stuff like that, and then it fails and then it goes through again and then it fails. Um, first next game is Everton, as you can see coming up. Everton's going to be a big game. Obviously, if we can win it, then buzzing. If not, and we can scrape a draw, then that's better. But I, I feel I can't remember if we lost it or not. To be fair. The highlights are terrible. You always get really restricted highlights that you can actually do, and they're never good. Every highlight I've had to do so far has been horrendous. Um. For some reason we're just waiting on this screen, not sure why, but apparently we are. What's everyone's predictions for England today? Uh, I'm going to say 2-1 to England. What time does it kick off? England in the next game, it's 7 o'clock against USA, yeah, 2-1. I'll be very surprised 
No, it won't actually, because it's England, so it's kind of hard to say. Boy, yeah, I reckon two on. Like I said, obviously it's approached now. We're at the Everton game. They're 35 points and we're on 23 points. The uh, player of the, the month goes to Kulosevsky, who plays for Tottenham. And Tottenham are actually at the top of the league when I checked. I think we give him an actual game. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think I sub him on. I'll bring him on first. Um, Hello, it's great to be with you. And I don't so think yeah, anybody is, is going to complain, especially uh, about the weather. The I'm Derek Ray. Ready here on the first chance is obviously a corner for us. I can't remember if we scored. Now the delivery. Oh, that yeah, is extraordinary! Uh, True oh, athleticism to make uh, contact uh, in that fashion. And it's one of the finest goals. Um, and then obviously second chance. I, for some reason I see a free kick and I feel like I have to shoot on all of them. It's terrible. And I was like it online as well. We're pulling a free kick. I was like, oh, who's the best free kick taker? Turns out this guy, who's only 17 years old, is probably our best free kick taker. He'll have a go here. So He'll still be able to do a bit of damage. Ooh, a bad effort, but I feel like I should have ran onto it quicker with Johnson. Then another free kick. This time I actually don't take it. Probably should have just for the bounce. Bumps into the penalty area. Trying to cross it in. And the keeper, oh, there to deal with it. And, and there is the Dennis. referee's whistle for full time. Even Stephen here, they can't be separated. Well, so we well, weren't we treated to goals. So yeah, and Stuart, interested well, to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play, and a couple of outstanding individuals. And let's go. I'm not gonna lie, performance wise we've played terrible, but then chances they give you are horrendous. You can't ever get like some chances are sick and some of them are like pretty much run it through the deep goalkeeper, run through the defender, and that's it. And it's like well that doesn't really help. You can't really run through a whole defender, but whatever. I think it's just one of them things. The game just likes to be a knob. Mm -hmm. It does seem like that's always the case. Song stuck in my head. So yeah, another approach made. Um, Kobak, Kobak departs. Um, last like update for him. As you can see, I've got Savo Sabu in there as well. He's another player that I was looking at. I've said his name. I butchered it, but it doesn't matter. He's another player that I was interested in getting because obviously I know the team he's meant. So I was thinking, oh no, yeah. Um, obviously we're not going to become Scotland's national manager. The only time we'll accept is if it's England. So Leicester v Forest, we're six points behind. Welcome them. everyone, thanks very much. Let's start taking some um, questions, please. Big man himself has gone to the press conference. Yeah, they're always asking about consistency. Sometimes they're on it, aren't they? Sometimes I thought I'd just ask some right fucking weird questions. Time's up, guys. Thanks for your questions. Sorry for the background noise. It's just a boiler. It sounds like it's about to take off. Very... Yeah, so now we're going into the game against uh, Leicester. I tell you what, 
their team on this is really annoying to play against because Hello everyone and a warm welcome. We're have. at the King Power Stadium in the East Midlands for this one. I'm Derek Ray. The pen every time. <coughs> it's like that. The penalty. I'm sure he saves it. This to open I'm the scoring here. The He's on this game anyway. And he puts it away I'm confidently. Sure he saved. Oh no. He saved one of them last time. So we're currently winning them more beating them one more. Oh, he's through oh, here! Chance for ben is to win the ring. Still a chance! Well, the keeper was called upon Dad. and delivered. Said he's missed it. <laughs> Doing typical Dennis behaviour. It's all the way that he gets in the right position and then, because I can't finesse for some bloody reason, he flops it. And it's like there. Like, right, Dennis, have you just carried on running, mate? Nice little through ball to Bam. And a fine cross. And no one's in the box. And then cross it in for Dennis again. And it. Well, threat over for Nibs. now. And right with it. that, the referee brings uh, this contest to an end. All square here finishes. in what was a oh, thoroughly compelling game. Which is better than losing, obviously. But it's annoying, though, because we keep getting draws. It's fine. It's not the end of the world that we're, we're drawing and stuff. It's only we stay up this season and we finish above like mm, I would prefer to be above 10th but then I'm going to have to start playing full games to actually get that if you guys want to see that obviously put it in the comments and I will start to do so uh, the final report on Savoy obviously he on this so far he's only he's, he's not the best but I will be hiring him. He'll be one of our signings in the first season when we come back. Uh, Henderson moaning that he wants to play against Newcastle. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. We just swap around for the goalie that we had in. Do we make any other changes? I don't believe we do. Obviously, Lowd is very upset because he had to miss one game. As soon as all of the loans go back, it'll be a little bit better because we'll have we'll know what squad we've actually got. I know where we can improve upon it. Obviously, what what needs to be done. So yeah, now we're against obviously Newcastle. I believe we lose this. And game. welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Like Every reason to believe game. this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray and sitting along. Well, for Nottingham Forest, it was even Stephen in the last game. A draw against Leicester City. Yeah, How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Derek, big moment this. Time. No oh, shortage really. of excitement. Level again. Oh, fucking sweepy DP. Yes, that's Schler. He's annoying to play against. Every time I kept getting the ball past the defenders, he was always there to stop me. And there oh, it yeah, is, the final Dennis whistle. Coming. The home fans the are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it. it was a tight game. Oh. Both sides had their moments and so chances, well, but overall, they Newcastle. just about Two shaded one. it. A well earned victory. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today. I feel like we need to stop playing probably a two strong And so the match is underway. Because I don't think Gibbs, um, he's a strong enough cam to really take control. 
Oh, that will change to more of a winging like formation, like a 3-3-4-3-3 three, 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 three or something like that. But that is pretty much the end of the episode, guys. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Obviously, the playlist will be linked in the description. Um, yeah, see you in a bit. Peace.